Most of us nowadays have heard about or even driven a hybrid vehicle, but not many of us have been in a high-performance green building like the one we're going to see today. Hi, I'm Mark Robinson with Momentum Bay Associates here in Houston, Texas. Today we're with Jeff Mickler, President and CEO of Jacob White Construction Company. Jeff, would you mind telling us about your LEED registered Corin Shell Medical Office building? Would love to. Welcome to 251 Medical Center Boulevard. It's a 48,000 Class A medical office building. We are gold LEED registered. Hopefully make platinum, we'll know shortly. Come on in and I'll show you some of the features inside. One of the biggest features in this building is the tight envelope of the building. It's comprised of one of what I think is a real critical part is the isonine insulation on the walls. This gives us air infiltration rate of less than 1%. What does that mean? Keep the bad air where we want it to be, whether it's hot outside in the summer or cold outside in the winter. Air doesn't migrate in and out of the building unless we want it to. Our biggest challenge on this job, believe it or not, was trash recycling. We had what normally you have is, is you know, individuals that work on a construction site that throw everything down. They don't separate aluminum from glass from cardboard to whatever. And it was hard to train those guys. But in a very short period of time, they all came on board. The whole team got excited. We originally started out with this project to be a LEED certified project, just a LEED certified project. We wanted a green building, we wanted LEED certified. We weren't that sure you know, where we would be in the LEED status, but everyone started getting really excited about the program. We said, well, if we can get LEED, we get silver. And then after we got silver, we said, well, we can get gold. And so now we have gold, well, we're going for platinum. Part of the green building is just good design. If you look back at the cliff dwellers, you know, passive solar, uh, this stuff isn't new. It's just going back and looking at what we did 50, 100, 1,000 years ago and when we didn't have air conditioning to compensate for bad design. If you have good design, you can get to a lead status. You can get to whether it's green or just, you know, just green or go for a lead status it makes dollars and cents. Let's go. This is the largest green roof in the state of Texas. We're standing on nine inches of soil. We can trap 100% of the water if it's less than a two inch rain. 73% of the water of a two inch rain and greater. The plants, when we plant them in November, it's kind of icy. Can we say it was really cold? You can see how well they've taken off. If you watch real careful, there's usually, we've had about six or eight birds that have nested up here and, and, and had little babies already. So there's lots of bird habitat. Why green roof? Well, the plant life creates oxygen for us, humanoids, we need that. Gives us 28% green space. We take the roof out of the detention requirements of, a, of the site. We're not paying taxes. We're not digging a hole and creating a, a, another place to maintain that doesn't look this. It's, 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 uh, it's, it's, a, it's the right thing to do. The other thing is, if you notice, the lifespan of this roof, what destroys roofs? It's the sun, UV. The sun can't hit our roof. We're looking at lifespans between 30 and 50 years on a roof with little to no maintenance. Now that you've seen the largest green roof in Texas, that concludes our tour. Thank you for the tour. If other people would like to come visit 251 Medical, could they call you or could they visit your website? We'd love to show anybody the property. Or they can visit the website at www.251medical.com. Thank you, Jeff, for helping us create a healthy, sustainable Texas. You're welcome. Glad to help.